You saw some of my interview with former South Bend Mayor Pete Buttigieg. We talked about why he's supporting Joe Biden for president and some of his criticisms about the Trump administration. Now we get response from Mark Lauder with the Trump campaign. I began by asking Mr. Lauder what he thought of Mayor Buttigieg saying we needed leadership to get us through the pandemic that isn't focused on name calling and personal attacks. Well, I think uh, Pete Buttigieg is, uh, is just trying to play partisan politics because what the American people see is that the president's leadership has flattened the curve along with the great work and the sacrifices of millions upon millions of Americans who have stayed at home, self-isolated, socially distanced, in many cases have, have had their jobs and their livelihoods impacted, and it's having an effect. The mayor also criticized COVID testing in the United States that per capita, he says is trailing other countries. Well, Mayor Pete's numbers are just wrong. We are leading the world in testing, also on a per capita basis. We are doing more testing than in South Korea, which was hailed as a leader in that area. In fact, if you go back to early to mid-March, we were doing about 3,000 tests a day. Now we're doing nearly 400,000 tests per day. And as we heard today in testimony on Capitol Hill, we will be up above the ability to do one million tests a day coming up by the fall. The mayor also took a shot at the president's history of science denying during a health crisis, like calling climate change a Chinese hoax. Well, as it relates to the coronavirus, I'll just give you Dr. Fauci's words and Dr. Birx's words uh, right back. There has never been a time when they have walked into the Oval Office and made a recommendation to the president that he didn't listen to and he didn't act upon. In fact, when they went in and told him he had to shut down the most productive and successful economy in modern history, he, he asked questions and he definitely had to, but he also took their advice and did it because he knew that if we were, if those projections were going to be right, that a million to two and a half million Americans were going to die if we did nothing. And if you'd like, we're going to have both of our interviews with Mayor Pete Buttigieg and Mark Lauder from the Trump campaign on our website at 13onyourside.com.